Nidwittians, we got an awesome video in store for you this evening. We are going to be dropping and doing something different. We are going to be running all these GPUs. We're going to be doing a quad setup with gaming and benchmark, and we're going to see how they tear up on the RTX 4000 series. Of course, we got the Piddly 1660 Ti, which, yeah, it is what it is. But anyways, guys, we're just going to do an upgrade, but we're also going to show all these GPUs inside the PC running and uh, whatnot. We're only going to upgrade one of them, but we will show all of them in the PC. Hey, guys, something I forgot to tell you about in the beginning. We are going to be doing a RAM upgrade. I just want to throw that up there. And this is a 550-watt power supply that's in here. They are upgradable. Anyways, guys, we're going to get right into the nitty-gritty of this, and I'm not going to waste your time, so keep up with me. So first off, you're going to start unslot this bad mamma jam of a ram slot stick this green ugliness and get that out of your way tall side ram goes up gray slots are first and the reason we're doing this ram upgrade is to have some dual channel love because i didn't think it would be fair running a single eight gigabyte stick with all this rtx goodness all right guys so now we're going to get to the gpu upgrade and first thing you're going to do is unplug power Set that off to the side, spin the PC to the rear. You got a kind of little door right here. As you spin the PC to the rear, we need to take the two Phillips head screws right here, right here. If this is the first time you're removing this GPU, you do want to undo the bracket. I don't have the bracket secured. There's no point in keeping that secured unless you plan on shipping your PC across the continental of the world. If you're wondering why you just took these two screws out and it's not coming out, there's a bracket here. You need to take two screws out. And we are going to get rid of this ancient, archaic, blower-style card. Because what... I mean, I guess it works in this PC, so hopefully these RTX 40 series cards don't overheat. But we'll have to see. You'll have the that in my conclusion. And, of course, you'll see the numbers in the gaming and benchmarking. All right. Pull the card straight out. And the stupid bracket is making... Yeah, this bracket is just useless. Anyways, guys... If you are getting RTX 4060 or any 40 series card, just throw this thing up on eBay. Someone that uh, is lacking in GPU performance will probably thank you. All right, guys, so down to the nitty gritty of this GPU upgrade, we are gonna grab the GPU, make sure if there's any protective covering to remove that, remove any uh, PCI slot coverings, and we are gonna line this up with our PCI Express 16X slot and send her on home to get it in there. So now you're going to replace the two Phillips head screws and close your door. Also, you want to plug your power in. It's a pretty simple task. Usually you want to make sure this is screwed in first because these can put some tension on the cards. All right, guys, you're going to replace the two screws right here. Close your door. Once that's done, we are going to show all the GPUs installed, lit up and uh, running just to see what they look like. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see Dora through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.
The benchmarks and games really showed the difference between these four cards. The 1660 Ti just meh meh eBay that card, get rid of it fast. Let's not talk about that itty piddly little card. Um, let's talk about the real grid in the room, RTX 4070 and RTX 3070, because that's really what you'd be looking at if you're looking at this tier. I know I showed the 30, or 30, I'm going to say the 30 series because it's stuck in my head. The 4060, 4060 Ti, they're awesome cards, but really let's compare the flagship models. Let's take the RTX 3070 and put it versus the RTX 4070. Positives for the 4070, DLSS 3.0, and people like, well, it's just DLS 3.0. Well, you, you get NVIDIA Reflex and Boost with both cards. Well, the AI algorithms, and because we're in a capitalistic society, are always going to work for the top card. So if they're going to be pushing frame increases, if you're a triple A gaming gamer, and that's the type of games you play, 4070 all the way. Because DLSS 3.0 is going to be on pretty much every game you play. Now, if you're an indie game player, yeah, you know, maybe a 3070, save yourself that $100. It's $100 difference is really between the two cards. Now, if you get it on sale, it might be less. Um, I would say 100% go with the 4070, but if you look, you're cash strapped, go with the 3070 or even a 4060 Ti or 4060. Um, the difference between the two cards and frames is kind of minuscule. Well, not minuscule. It's 25.999% difference in FPS. Um, is that going to be night and day difference? Well, if you want to run 4K, yeah, you're going to definitely notice it. But if you're only running 1440p, it's, it's a slight increase. You're going to be able to run a lot of stuff on high and ultra. Um, it's a 49% FPS difference between the two cards. Um, as you can see, if we jump over here to the on screen, I know points are points are one thing, but FPS is really what you're looking for when you're buying a graphics card. On the left, I'm showing Fire Strike. Of course, you've seen these benchmarks were played out with all four cards. And you got the best card on the right, and you got the worst card on the left. So you got the RTX 3070 on the left and the RTX 4070 on the right. Um, personally, it depends on how much you want to spend and how far you want to go with your PC. If you're going to go above an RTX 4070, you know, really the top card you would ever go with for gaming, in my opinion, unless there's special case, special use cases for dips, like flight sims and stuff like that, is going to be a, a, a 4080 um, or a 3080. So you could go with like a 4090, but or even a, a 3090, but you really you got to have pretty niche use cases for that video editing, graphics design, you know, AI rendering, you know, AI algorithm testing, all, all that wonderful bad mamma jamma stuff, which the average Joe is not going to be doing it. Now you might take your anime episode and be like, Hey, I want to upgrade this from 480 to 1080p and, you know, run a, a season through your PC and RTX 4070 is going to do just fine on it. Um, and they're just going to keep pushing DLSS as far as they can go. The thing is, is the DLSS 3.0 technology is harnessed by, you know, pretty much both cards. Well, 2.0 on the 30 series and, and 3.0 on the 40 series. But let's be honest, we're in a capitalistic society, and which one do you think is going to get the best upgrades to hang, hang that carrot in front of you to try to get you to move? It's going to be the newest card. So you're going to see the most significant gains on the 40 series card versus the 30 series card. Now, they might come out and say, okay, we updated three, you know, DLSS 3.0, and then they might give like a 2% bump to 2.0, and 3.0 is going to be like, there's a 30% bump. And that's not even anything to do with the hardware you currently have. It's got to do with an algorithm on a supercomputer that NVIDIA is running. They're running these games with algorithms and supercomputers, and that's how they're churning out DLSS 3.0. They updated in the drivers, which and hence turns it into you know better FPS on your end. So that's that DLSS 3.0 pretty or DLSS pretty much explained. There's more into it than that, but I'm not gonna. That could be a whole separate video for a whole separate subject. If you guys are interested in that, hey, go ahead and leave a comment down below and ask about it. But anyways, guys, I'm Tech Nitwit. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. One last thing, I forgot. All the items you see used in this video today will be linked down in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I'm out, y'all.